we're going to take communion uh, this in the next two weeks. So I thought just today, uh, at least I give just an answer to what is, uh, what is communion. It started with the Last Supper of Jesus. So it's often referred to as the Lord's Supper. Uh, so what is the Lord's Supper? And to find that answer to that question, we're going to go through a Bible passage, 1 Corinthians 11, 23 through 26. And this is uh, the passage often read when you celebrate communion. We're just going to take it a line at a time. Uh, It reveals that communion is a simple act. It says the Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed took bread. And he didn't have some big fancy elaborate ceremony. No one was wearing anything special or unique. Um, There wasn't any kind of fancy ritual to it. Uh, it was just a very simple act. It was somber, it was serious, it's a pinnacle moment in the history of the world. It happened with bread and, and a cup. And so it's not some big elaborate ritual uh, to us. It's very serious, but it is also, a, part of the beauty is, is that it's a simple act. Secondly, communion is a reminder. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And so the whole purpose of the Lord's Supper is for us to remember what Jesus did on the cross for us. Thirdly, in this passage, we see that it's a symbol. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. And so when Jesus said, this is my body, this is my blood, he did not mean that literally. When he said this, he had not even gone to the cross yet. Uh, He hadn't died yet. So he couldn't have even meant this literally. He's talking about this as symbolically. Just staying with this for a moment, you know, I think of symbols. If I I were to show you a picture of my, my wife, a framed picture of my wife, and I said, this is my wife, you wouldn't think that I thought that the frame and the photo paper was my wife, right? You'd be like, oh, that poor man. He thinks he's like, that that's his wife. No, you would say, oh, that's a symbol. That's his wife. That's a symbol of who his wife is. And so in the same way, he's giving us a picture, a symbol. And Jesus, he would do that. He'd say, I'm the door. I'm the bread of life. I'm the gate. Fourthly, we see it's a statement. Communion is a statement of faith. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Anytime you take communion, you are preaching a sermon. If you are looking back to God's faithfulness, you are looking ahead to his faithfulness as well. And that Jesus will come back. So we're going to turn our attention to uh, these elements. And one more thing that we like to do before we celebrate communion is just examine Like that verse goes on to say, don't take it in an unworthy manner. So we like to just examine ourselves. So we'll just do that for a minute, a couple different ways through prayer. um, As we go to this, I'll just tell you, you don't have to guess when we're gonna take this together. Like, like, oh, should I have eaten it yet or not? I'll be very clear with you when to peel it back. And I'll say, church, let's eat together. And the same thing with the cup of you can wait and be confident I'll lead you right right one to do that. So we do that in unity uh, together this morning. Would you bow your head with me as we just prepare our hearts for this? One way you prepare yourself is through confessing sins. And 1 John 1, 9 says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. What confession is, the word confess means to say the same thing. So it simply means that you say the same thing as God says about it. So you examine your life and, and you say, Lord, you know there are things I struggle with in my life and there are things I'm trying to justify. And, and today I just I confess them to you and I call them what they are. They are sin. And you took my sin and and died for it. And so, Lord, I just confess the seriousness of it and the reality, reality of it, that I'm a sinner. 
And Lord, I also confess what you promise here is that you're faithful and just, that when I agree with you and I see it from your perspective, that you will forgive and cleanse and purify me from unrighteousness. I'm asking you, God, to do that now. you can flip to that side with the with the wafer and just peel back that piece with the revealing that wafer and take it out and just hold it in your hand Jesus said this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me let's eat together in communion it's just to recommit our lives to him John 1 John 1 7 says but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus his son purifies us from all sin Lord we want to not walk in the darkness of the world but the light of your truth and the light of your love and in the light of your son Jesus Lord, I pray that uh, as we walk in the light, that our relationships with others will be made right. As we have fellowship with you, we'll get to enjoy fellowship with one another. Lord, I just offer up the relationships in my life. If there's anything between me and someone else, I just pray that you would would show it to me. Lord, I commit to uh, what your word says in Romans, that uh, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. So God, I, I want to do that. I know I can't make everything right, and I'm not going to try and control the other person, but uh, I do want to live, live this out as, as far as it depends on me. And so, Lord, show me what that means. What do I need to do? I right, thank you for your light. Thank you that your light purifies us from sin. church you can peel back that layer revealing that juice there as you do that say in the same way he took the cup saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood drink it in remembrance of me church let's drink together for whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup You proclaim the Lord's death until he comes.